The Lord be with you. Kindness is on my mind right now. In fact, the title of this devotion is Loving Kindness. Recently, I heard someone talk uh, extensively, uh, refer several different passages to my brain about the kindness of God, the loving kindness of God. And here is one of those sections. It's Titus. So this is the third of the three Pauline epistles Paul wrote to young Pastor Titus, and he wrote these words in chapter 3, verses 4 through 7. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us richly, through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that being justified by His grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This is a powerful way to think about this. It wasn't that God was so fed up and so angry that He finally decided, I have to send the Savior. No. Listen again. When the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared. God is kind. His kindness knows no end. And so, that kindness given to us by God. Oh, and he, he never has an off day. He's never crabby. He is always kind and always gracious and always loving and always welcoming us back in. And that is the kindness, the love, the mercy, the forgiveness shown to us, of course, in Jesus. Given to us, Paul says here, in baptism. That's how we know that baptism is an activity, an action of God, a channel by which God is giving us his grace. And so, it's given to us so that it may be shown by us. In fact, it's one of the fruit of the Spirit, Galatians chapter 5. The fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So many different ways that, that we are reminded that God is kind. And because he's given that kindness to us, it is shown by us. It is lived by us. Once again, by the power that he gives to us in his word. It's because he is giving that to us in Christ. It is because Christ is ours and we are his, and we have this kindness to live, to share. My prayer for you today, truly, is that this kindness of God would just be present in your life. By the power of the word come washing over you once again the kindness of God that will enable us to show that kind of kindness that points to the love of Jesus. From the justification section of our hymnal, here are a couple of verses from Oh, How Great Is Your Compassion. Oh, how great is your compassion, faithful Father, God of grace that with all our fallen race, in our depth of degradation, you had mercy so that we might be saved eternally. Firmly to our soul salvation witnesses your spirit, Lord, in your sacraments and word. There he sends true consolation, giving us the gift of faith that we fear not hell nor death. I will praise your great compassion, faithful Father, God of grace, that with all our fallen race, in our depth of degradation, you had mercy, so that we might be saved eternally. And we pray. O oh Lord, we praise you for your kindness, your goodness, your salvation given to us in Christ. 
Bless us and fill us with that fruit. Grow that kindness in us so that others may come to know your kindness for them as well. In Jesus' name, amen. God's blessings to you, and the Lord be with you until we meet again.